it, yeah, I, I do kind of feel like I am defending my, my title in a sense, but um, you know, it was a, it was a sad sad year last year for me. It was very difficult to withdraw from this event, and I'm just glad uh, you know I'll be able to tee it up tomorrow. Paula Creamer was all smiles when she straight up dominated two years ago to win the FAR. Now, though, she's facing an uphill battle if she wants to compete at that level starting tomorrow. And the reason, of course, is her thumb, which she had surgery on earlier this year. She told us yesterday that it still gives her pain anytime she puts pressure on it, that she's still rehabbing it. There's a pretty noticeable wrap on her thumb as Creamer's trying to work her game back to what it was a few years ago. Today, she said she wouldn't be at the far. She didn't feel like she could compete. At the same time, this is how she feels about her thumb and her game on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being perfectly comfortable. I would say my thumb is probably a 6. Maybe, yeah, I'd say about a 6. Um, my game, <laughs> it's... It, I would say the same, six. You know, it's not where I want it to be. Um, however, I am out here. You know, I'm, I'm playing as well as I can. Um, I'm very limited with things that I can do, um, which is tough to, you know, take the next step. Meanwhile, Jamie Farr fans should be familiar with Morgan Pressel's name on the leaderboard. She's been the runner-up in two of the last three years. But she's still looking out for a Jamie Farr championship numero uno. She knows she's close, and that keeps her confident. I've been there. I've been close. I've played well on this golf course. Uh, more than anything, it just gives me confidence. And, um, you know, I... I mean, even playing out in the pro-am, you know, I just got in last night, so so playing out in the pro-am today, I didn't feel like, like I had lost anything. And alongside all these world-class players, the Paula Creamers, the Morgan Pressels, the Natalie Golbuses, will be Alyssa Schimmel. She just graduated from Eastwood High School. She'll be at the University of Michigan next year, which explains all the maize and blue she was wearing. And she qualified on Monday for one of two free spots for the FAR. So today, she was in preparation mode, but the excitement level still sky high. I'm super excited. A little bit nervous, but mostly excited. I can't wait to hit my first tee shot tomorrow. I get to play with the best, and I get to learn a lot just being around them. So I'm really looking forward to it. And, of course, today was the chance for sponsors to play with celebs and the star golfers. And before Jamie Farr himself teed off, he was honored for a whole smorgasbord of things. Gotta love Jamie. That's a man who brings his A-game every single time out.